All right, everybody, here I am with Julio Arce from the UFC Featherweight. How are we doing, Julio? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm chilling, trying to stay healthy, trying to survive, basically, you know, the necessities. How has uh, coronavirus been treating you? Um, I mean, thankfully, we're all healthy right now. Just been staying inside, just following protocol the way it has to be done. Um, been uh, inside for like almost about two months now. Uh, so, you know, doing what I can during these times. But, you know, look, there's, of course, there's the, the things that you like, the negative, but there's also so many, so many good things that come from it. So, so overall, doing really good. That's good. Good to hear. It sounds like you're doing better than me. I'm struggling a little bit, depending on the day. Um, luckily, the weather is nice today. So, I mean, I know you're in Queens, right? Yep. And New York, obviously, everyone knows, has been hit really, really bad. So have you been able to train at all, or what have you been doing? Um, I've been, you know, I've been training. I've been training at home, so doing whatever I can, you know, to get my workouts in. So one of the, the good things about this is, like, I'm sharpening two major tool sets as I'm, as I'm stuck inside because, you know, I don't have access to a lot, to a lot of things here, and I can only do so much from my home. So the great thing is, you know, the most important is like just, just the mental aspect of it. And because I'm viewing this like a, just like a test, right? Like a test of just patience, a test of kind of like, you know, willpower see, you know, like, okay, you know, either, either this, I, I break or, you know, I beat this thing. No. And so it's been a lot of that and just trying to keep, you know, you know, you're trying to keep it together. Everyone, everyone's going through it. They're on the same boat. You know, you get stressed, you know, you got bills, you got this, you got that. So you're just like, you're trying not to lose your cool through this whole thing. So it's definitely just like a big mental test for everybody. So for me, you know, that's what I take it as. The other thing is I'm, I'm working on, you know, sharpening, you know, just my basics even more. So like the way I see it, it's kind of like, you know, I only have access to these two things, so I'm kind of just making them, getting them to a level where they won't be, you know, they can't be matched. So it's, you know, taking a lot of good things from it. No, definitely. I feel like that's all you really can do now. Maybe, you know, sharpen those tools, maybe stretch, get a little more flexibility. But there you go. being in New York, there's not much you can do. So with that being said, like, how would you feel, like, would you take a fight right now? You see the cards going up May 9th, uh, 16th, 19th. Would you feel comfortable saying yes to a fight? Not at all. I mean, I, 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 no training partners, limited training. It's like, and, you know, I think, look, the people that took the fights, awesome. They're, you know, they're going to they're gonna get to fight May 9th. They do what they have to do. But I'm not going to rush into, like, I'm not going to rush into that first wave like some are doing because, you know, we don't know if it's like, well, what's going to cut, what's going to be the, the end result of this? How is it going to really go down? You know, people getting tested, people are being quarantined, like what's really going to happen, you know, like with, you know, like, are people going to really have good training camps? You might see a lot of first round finishes because I don't think everyone will have the proper, their normal training camp, but you know, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to rush to it. I want to have a proper training camp if I'm going to go into a fight, especially like, you know, I'm, I'm putting my body on the line like that. And, and that's where I, and, yeah. And where I'm located, it's like, I'm where we're at. It's since it's such high risk, I'm not going to put, you know, myself and the people that I love in danger and my teammates in danger, you know, like whether I look, I, I said, thankfully been super healthy, feel great. But even like this, nobody knows if they have it or not. Like I could be right. feeling this and so I have it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run that risk. I'm I'm willing to wait. Been doing it for now two months. Right. <laughs> I can I can wait a little longer. Um, oh, how's the Tiger Showman's team doing throughout? Everyone, our- well, well, everyone is doing good. They like said you know they're trying to find their their way to train. It was uh, it's a little difficult because since like you know we we all train in our. Um, main location elmo park new jersey it's like our, our headquarters but then like because we're all you know some of us live in jersey some of us live in new york some of us lives in pennsylvania so it's, it's like you know we're all, we're all meeting there but since one of our teammates ended up having you know get a lime and he ended up getting you know covid it's like right like, we're, we're not gonna risk that so i'm like now nah, that's like look i'd rather wait i'd rather wait like i'll 
you know, we'll do other things, but only when like we're all for sure know that we're all healthy, we're all good to go, then then we'll do that. There, there's no rush in this right now. No, definitely. Because in reality, you know, I keep telling her this whole thing is just one big mind fucking self. Mm-hmm. So, so to say the so, least. Yeah, so it's it's like I'm like you know what, I've been it's like knock on wood, been good. It's like, and I'm not gonna rush to then. And then all of a sudden, next, you know, I'm I'm sick or somebody else. I expose somebody to this because I decided to rush. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> it's definitely not worth it, especially like like you said. Like we've never been through one of these. It's a mind fuck. We've never been through a pandemic before. The whole world is kind of down. I mean, I did read this morning. I think that for those who are fighting. They're going to test the fighters and their team before they, they head to Jacksonville. And then once they're in Florida, once again, they're going to test them to make sure. But, I mean, hopefully they tested them already because they put in these names on the cards. And who knows, you know? How much, how much would it suck if you showed up? And then next thing you know, it's like you get there, they test you, and you're like, um, I'm going to have to scratch you. Right? Would, oh, oh, my God. Because then, and then, then you're at that, you're there. The thing is, you're there. You're at that event, and then you have it, and it's like, like I said, you, you don't know. So right. we might see people there. We might see Pete card, the card fall through, but right, yeah, it's. I rather I rather wait and see how this whole thing's panning out before I do anything. Okay, so what if Fight Island does come to be? I mean, they say it is happening, right? Mm-hmm. I know you're not down to fight in Florida. We said uh, that's not that's a no go. <laughs> but what about Fight Island? How do you? about fighting out there fight island does sound very interesting like i mean just the, just like the, the fact that the, the idea of it you're just like yeah we're gonna we're gonna build an uh, we have a, we have an island and we're building everything out just so people can fight in it <laughs> you're just like that's like that's like some shit out of a movie no <laughs> it's that ass, crazy. for sure <laughs> yeah, yeah so so it's interesting but you know look I'd be down for Fight Island after this thing clears. Right. <laughs> but, but it, you know, like the idea of it, it's, it's interesting because it's just like, huh. And you know, I was like, all right. Just like you're building like a coliseum pretty much. And you're just going to be like, all right, guys, I'm going to fight now. Right. You're be by the beach. Yeah. I, mean, weather. It, I could see them maybe opening it to the public later. If it happens, you know, making it a little, like a little, um, what do you call it? Yeah. Amusement park? Why not? Yeah. UFC fight. Uh, There's there is definitely money to be made there. It's just yeah, the opportunities are endless for it, and I'm sure like you know, Pete. I mean, think about it this way: even for like major, like um, the major boxing fights, like the Anthony Re- Ru- uh, Anthony Joshua versus Ruiz, right. they build a stadium for them in uh, in Abu Dhabi. It's like just for just for the event. So mm-hmm. it's like. It's pretty cool, and then they packed it out. Imagine just like how many people want to be exper- the first ones to experience, you know, Fight Island. As long as it's not like Fire Island, right? Then, that one down, then you got a whole different thing. Yeah, and those the names fire are festival. Are, that's what I'm talking the about. fire <laughs> words. Yeah, no. And the names are a little close for comfort. Fight Island, <laughs> Fire Festival, get me a little nervous thinking about it, but. I mean, definitely it has potential. I know Dana was saying that, you know, fighters could have a full camp out there. So like, let's say if they told you like, hey, we want you to fight in July, come through to Fight Island, have your camp. What are you going to say? I, I would have to, I would have to decline. I'm like, like, I can't. Because look, unless you're like a big time fighter and you're making like ridiculous amount of money, you're kind of good. But mm-hmm. other fighters, you know, they have to, they have, you know, technically we have two jobs. Like for me, like I have, I have my, you know, my martial arts school in, uh, in Bayside, Queens, and I'm teaching them. And that's, and like my students are a priority. And right now, you know, it's for us to be able to stay, to stay in business. We opened up like Zoom classes and just, you know, teaching through Zoom. And so it's like, we have a full schedule. So I can't just up and leave that for a month because then that suffers. And let's say, Fight Island doesn't really happen. It's like right. shit. It's like what am I doing? But right. then, so you know, like I have to I have to look at it for you know, like, you know, my benefit. I'm like, I would love to fight, but not if then it's like, while this is if this is suffers and this you know fall, it's like I, I don't I wouldn't want my school falling through. Like that's it. Thank God, you know, like blessed. 
We've got a lot of students. We got a lot of people training even through this. So, you know, like we adapt and now that we're doing through Zoom classes, people are training, people, you know, appreciate what we're doing. So, you know, we're keeping, you know, we're keeping ourselves uh, up, our head above water. And so, you know, and like I know for other 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 fighters is, you know, financially for them, it, for them, it could be tough because they might be had a side job that now they don't, they no longer have. Yeah. And they don't have, maybe they don't have the, 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 the money to be able to pay for a fight for a full camp. You know, there's, there's certain things. And so it, it so it, so it sucks, you know, like everyone's situation is different. So, you know, like for me, like I would not, I would not risk, okay, let me leave for a month, not teach my classes and then hopefully come back and hopefully my school's still there. It's like, nah. And hopefully like, not be sick. <laughs> exactly. And hopefully not be sick. So I'm like, you know, I got out, I got to, you know, outweigh what's more, you know, what's more important. So I got to, I got to thank it for the, for the, you know, my benefit, for the benefit of my school, my students, for everybody. It's, it's like, it wouldn't be what I want, what the way to go for me. I think it's smart to do what's best for you. And especially when it comes to this fight game. Um, yeah. That's all you can do. But who do you have for, you know, Gaethje versus Ferguson? <laughs> Might as well ask. Yeah. I mean, that's that's gonna be a wild fight the the thing is you know i gotta part of me i i want tony ferguson to finally get his shot at a championship belt because he has a you know a, an amazing winning streak and it's like every time it's like within his grasp and then just slips away so now you get gagey who's you know like dude's a beast and he just it's kill or be killed for him he just comes forward and Ferguson gets rocked in his fights. He always gets rocked. So you got someone like that dude who's relentless is going to come at you and really finish you. That would suck if, you know, all of a sudden it's like all that, all those, all those wins that he piled up, he, his fight with Khabib gets scratched over and over. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, okay, you get to become double interim champ or lose the shot to get a, a, a belt. It's like, damn. So I'm I'm rooting for I'm rooting for Tony. What is the first thing you're thinking of doing after quarantine is over first place, maybe first uh food or what's the what's your first what's first on your list? Well the first thing is on my list is actually like I've been keeping like a little list because um of just places that I wanna go to eat. So I think the first is since there's been a lot we've been been cooking here for every single day, literally like Dish it. I never done so many dishes <laughs> every single day. It's like just from the yeah, constant just relatable. cooking. <laughs> but the great thing is, like, I want to go to a place where I'm gonna have a delicious steak served to me, followed by an amazing dessert, whether it's ice cream, cake, and just enjoy, enjoy, and like, I and then just go somewhere like a nice scenery, just kind of chill for a bit, it's like like a nice day. To Definitely. Do it. And hopefully it'll be during the summer. I mean, we'll see. So we know, you know, you rep Colombia. Where's your favorite place to get some Colombian eats? Oh, man. Well, I always go, you know, like I'm, I'm from Cali and always in the, um, it's, like, it's like in like the heart of it, pretty much. Like there's a little town, just nonstop restaurants there. And I, there's always this empanada place that is, um, in, in, in Cali and it's awesome because I, I went there since I was a kid so many so many times and it's like they just give you like it's like these tiny little empanadas and they give you like a whole plate of them Ooh. and and you you know they give you all the sauces and everything and they give you the juice that goes with it they give you a, a granny salad so so it's like it's like the whole it's like the whole the whole the whole bank which is great and it's like literally right in the heart of the city so it, it's outside seating so like and the weather's always nice yeah. so amazing spot oh god i need to check it out colombia has been on my list for years i'm venezuelan that's the closest i've been is venezuela so i gotta cross that border and check that out one day. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to cop or drop i don't know how you feel about sneakers do you like sneakers yeah i like sneakers i like them a lot yeah, uh, yeah. What's your can't favorite? really rock any sneakers right now. <laughs> They're stuck inside. Yeah, no. This is this is what I've been wearing these days. 
<laughs> a bite mark. Yeah. So. Hey, all good. Got this yeah. for free. For you know the vibes. You know what we're on right now. All right, so right here we got you know Yeezy's first basketball sneaker in a mm. quantum uh, colorway. I think they said uh, mm. dropping May fifteenth. Hmm, I don't know. I think I would. I, I would. I would drop those. Not you would drop those. Yeah. 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 They're interesting. I think he's trying to do uh, the, you know, get on the basketball thing because, you know, yeah. basketball players like to be fashionable. But uh, so the box price, these are going for $250 retail right now. <laughs> Underground market, they're going for $700. Damn. Yeah. People don't play when it comes to their sneakers at all. <laughs> Literally. All right. mm -hmm. Definitely cop a pair of those. Yes. Yeah, so these are a classic. Um, oh my god, my screen keeps messing up. Um, these are dropping May 20th, the Air Jordan 4 metallic pack. Uh, they're actually in honor of a bunch of Air Jordan 1s that came out in these same colorways. Mm -hmm. um, so you you said cop? Yep. These are also going for $190. I love those, the, the, the I think the originals, like the, the black the black and blue ones. Oh, of Those the, for me, yes. Of the 4s, yeah, those are nice. Yes, those are great. I oh yeah, they have those. There's so many nice fours. I I got a, an all black pair called the Black Cats. They dropped nice. a few months ago. Those are a classic pair. Anyway, if you could get your hands on these, they are 190 box price. But right now, they're going mm. for anywhere between 1,200 to 2,000 dollars, depending on the pair. Yeah, damn. But yeah, I would definitely pop play. a pair of those. Yeah, definitely. People, people don't play when it comes to their sneakers. So we also have May 20, well, the, the story of these, these are another Travis Scott um, original uh, design. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, they these were, I think, supposed to drop in April originally, got postponed because of coronavirus. Then people thought they were going to drop yesterday secretly, but that never happened. So the, the tentative date is May 29th. They're called the Air Max 270 React Cactus Trails. Like I said, by Travis Scott. Copper drop. I would drop them. There's a lot going on with this, with this shoe right here. Like, I, that, that for me, just like, that's not my style. I feel like there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know. The colors just don't, it just, it just does not blow my hair back. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you. He, he likes to go for that grungy type of look. So, like, that soul, that, that mist yeah. right there looks kind of, like, messed up. I feel like it gives me a, that Coachella type of festival vibe. But yeah. These are also originally $190 box price, but currently they are going for about $840. And I'm sure people are buying them like crazy. Oh, yeah. People <laughs> love them. Some Travis Scott sneakers. These, definitely. I used to have these. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. I love 13s. And these are the Flint's super classic. For me, like I said, uh, I'm gonna play like like my foot. It's it's like a Sasquatch foot. Oh <laughs> I, have a, I have a giant foot because <laughs> uh, so the thing is like I'm thinking just through training. It's like I have like a like a wide foot. Uh -huh. So like now it's more like about finding like the type of sneaker like love styles, but also that it feels comfortable after wearing. Like if I'm wearing these for like three hours, I don't want the side of my foot like cramping up or feel like it's like tightening up like this. True. You ever had that? So yeah. it's like comfortable shoes like that. But I love these shoes. They were so, they were, they're freaking awesome. Some sneakers though, they do end up cramping your foot. And then I can only imagine if you just spent all day training and then you got to stick your foot in that, that's like hell mm. on earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't wish that on my enemy. Um, these are going for 190 box price. But right now they're going for 450 all these numbers change to like daily, so yeah. could be 700 tomorrow. You never even know. And last, we've got another <laughs> Yeezy. Yes. Move them, move them, move them over. Go oh, to the next one. Drop the Yeezy? Yeah, I have. I dropped that. I know. I, I know. And, and the crazy part with Yeezys is they're like so expensive to begin with. I don't understand mm -hmm. that, but they're comfy. These actually, I hate to say it, but these are comfortable. That's the one thing. These are, these, they feel, it feels like walking in slippers, kind of. Yeah, it's, like, it's just like, 
I don't know, maybe they're, those are just not for me. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, I think Kanye, he, like, all his designs are super basic and kind of like, it looks like you're wearing a sack on your foot with um, a yeah. rubber sole. <laughs> yeah. Um, but people buy them, man. And these are going for $220 and uh, they're going for $575 and they release at the end of this month. Jesus. Yeah. So that man knows what he's doing. I don't know. I don't know how he does it, but <laughs> he does. It's, it's it's like literally the same exact sneaker, different colorway. But I mean, I think he just hit a billion, or he's a billionaire yeah. on Forbes, so he's doing something yeah. right. He is. It's <laughs> it's his, it's his. You know, he grew his brand. He's like he's at that point. He's like, I can make any. I can make shirts with holes in them, yeah, like literally. a bunch, of, and be it'll, it'll sell. So right. That, it's like, hey, he's doing it. Can't blame him. He's if you had to good. create your own brand, what would it be? Like, is there anything that you would give to the world? <laughs> when you put on, you know, when you put someone on the spot like that, you're just like, I feel like I have so many ideas, but yep. I can't make my mind up. If I had to pick one, I can't pick one right now. Or it's all right. We'll go, we'll come back to that at a later date. Next time we'll have it ready. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time uh, to sit down with me and chat. Um, anything you want to promote or throw out there to the public? No, just uh, everyone can follow me. You know, you guys can follow me on Instagram, WeRC89, and just look, keep on the journey. Hopefully, you know, by uh towards the end of summer when things clear up and we're all ready to go, I'll be fighting again. So just stay on the lookout and, you know, shout out to everybody, everybody who's, you know, in my corner, everyone from my team, everyone who's just been just like a part of this journey. So I thank everybody.